All right, we got a fun one for you, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, PGA Tour 2K21, doing career mode. We have the Legends Championship at Hoop Hole River Club today. This is the, and this is season number two for us. Um, season number one, we won this one. This is the first major of the season, so it's going to be a four-round event. The field size is 98 or 600 FedEx points. And yeah, so I'm super excited about this one. We're gonna start this one sort of a day early. Today is um, Friday, January 15th. This is week number 16. We're trying to do one event per day. So we started week one on January 1st and uh, of season two and now here we are since this is four rounds we're probably going to do two rounds today not schedule them to be posted until tomorrow and then finish up the, the last two rounds tomorrow and get those posted so super excited this is pretty much the equivalent to the masters so the first major we're returning champions on this one so let's get this thing started and also to note the sponsorship deal I think this is the last event that we have to do this but we need to score six or better and looking back on season number one I shot pretty low I think I shot like a minus seven minus eight and we had two rounds at 12 under par so hopefully we can go low again and secure the major Hello tournament everyone. win here. Delighted to have you company here on 2K Sports for our PGA Tour action. Today's coverage of the Legends Championship is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam and we're around the <coughs> way through the season, Rich. Do you think the player has the FedEx Cup on their mind? Most definitely, they have to. The FedEx Cup Championship is the beginning of the end, and they want to make sure not only are they that top 125, but they have the opportunity to advance to the 70th and 30th spot. Right now, they're playing well, so it'd be a shock if they didn't make it. Let's get down to the action. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, guys, they're in the deep stuff here. And they did get a favorable lie considering the situation. Let's see what happens. This one looks to be bunker bound, Rich. Not good. All right, gonna start this one off scrambling. Now from that lie, missing the green was always an option. And he needs this to save par. All right, not a gimme by any means. I'm actually expecting to miss this. Was on a good line? Three feet to go here to the hole. So starting off with a bogey. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Let's see if this gets easier as we go on. Yeah, well, you're used to making bogeys a lot, Luke. This player is not. I think that there would be birdies to come, no doubt about it. Oh, that's a sweet-looking swing, that one. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Oh, I thought that one was going in. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. How about this effort from JT just a little while ago? I can watch shots like this all day, every day. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. Uh, that's a little untidy. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. Yeah, 
that that's the right option. You should never compound an error with another one. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Win back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. All right, uphill into the wind. We're clubbing up and choking down a little bit. The seven. See if I'll that wind knocks that this down. Well the green. That one's looking good. But the greens are fast. Time now for the fourth shot. I think we're going to try to putt this one. Oh, what a Alright, just nice missing. The Good distance That's control the there, though. Bar. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Currently at plus one for the day. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Alright, wide open fairway. No reason to miss this one. Good looking shot, this. Alright, we added a little backspin, see if that can hold a green. Bad approach that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Oh, the fried egg. That's ugly. Any chance of getting out of this bunker? Well, they're in deep here, guys. Really nestled into this sand trap. Alright, looking to make this birdie putt. Another Missing it on the attempt. high side. And this putt to move into the top 20. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Trailing by four strokes. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. Second shot here on the fifth. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. Oh, that almost went down. Got a bit of a struggle on the greens. Hopefully, you can change it here. All right, this is the safe par. Hey, nice looking line. All right, we're going to drop the two over. This one's for bogey. Yeah, we'll hold. So I was expecting the course to play a little easy, considering, you know, comparing our scores from the first season. But not so much. I mean, it's playing pretty difficult with this wind. I don't know if I'm overthinking the shots or what, but... Um, all right, we're going to... Add some loft, add some backspin. It's a drivable par four. We're gonna aim at that little hump in the front and see if the wind and a slight draw can bring us back here. in. We didn't hit the draw, so we're gonna be hung out to the right a little bit, but we are going to be safe and on the green. Oh, I love that aggressive play. Exactly what I've done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a power four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. Hitting up that big slope. Now that's a mistake. How do you leave that short? All right, double breaker. Especially when it's just going to hit it straight. And with that puck, he's bounced back immediately. So we get one back. We're at one over par with a par oh, five coming up. So we'll let's see it. what we can do with that. We're on the seventh hole now, guys. This is Patrick Cantlay. This is their fifth shot. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. 
Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. All right, it's 21 feet down, hitting downwind, and it's only 473 yards, so... Looks like this one's hitting safely for the fairway. Oh, no. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up Let's see if we're in the... Sand trap or the well, rough? The bunker, he just said the rough. The lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. <clears throat> this may jump out to the right. We'll see. Nope. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's a shame. Just leaking left that one. Getting ready to play their third. Four All shots right, we'll hit the chip leader. shot. Ooh. Well, nice. Thought that was gonna go in, but instead we're actually gonna leave a pretty lengthy birdie putt here that we're missing on the low side. All right, so very disappointing. Seems like we had the opportunity to make birdie or better on that hole. Just the drive landing in the rough did not do us justice. See if you can mm. knock it close. And after a part of the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Looks like they've got All the right, we hit that super slow. And I'm not sure that's what they had so in we're struggling mind. a little that's bit. Further right than they wanted. This would be a great up and down. That's great, it just missed the hole. And here we are with the third shot. Just three back from the leader. How close was that to going down? All right, and we're gonna lose that birdie that we got to, to go to one over. So now we're gonna be two over par. And that'll be a bogey for them on this hole. And Patrick Cantlay, currently our leader. Well, now we find ourselves on the team of short par four. What's your strategy? All right, not drivable, but oh, we do want to be in the fairway. Gorgeous. We're going to try to split those bunkers right up there. <clears throat> With the right wind, John, that could be drivable. Out there? Down on the 10th hole, then, guys. This is Justin Thomas's next shot. And back to the course with the live action. This is the second shot here on the ninth hole. All right. And it's just about three feet away. So we're gonna get that bogey right back. <clears throat> nice looking pass. We're one over par on the front movie. nine to start this major championship. The first major of season two. Alright, we're gonna take on that grandstand. With the right wind, I think we're gonna get a decent bounce. Get back in that fairway. Pretty good shot there. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Well, I'm down on the 11th right now. This is Justin Thomas's next shot. This shot is about 140 yards out. Wind is blowing left to right. Gonna try and hold it against the wind. Chosen the pitching range here. Let's see if we get a bounce up on that green. No. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. All right, we'll try the chip shot with the lob wedge. Probably going to come up short. 
but we're not long in going down that ridge, so we will take the relatively easy par cut. And in it goes for the par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. All right, Adam Scott at two under par. This looks to be hitting for the cut stuff. All right, beautiful looking hole here. Second shot here on the 11. We're going to add a lot of loft, a lot of backspin. We're going to go for this green. Yeah, it might be ambitious to some, but they're going for the green. Ripper. No, we got down to the 30s. Alright, we're back here. Took a short little intermittent break to eat some breakfast. <clears throat> and we got this putt for Eagle, 10 feet, 1 inch downhill. It's moving pretty good from right to left, so we're going to play pretty well outside. Tap that in. Oh. I'll tap this in for so we're moving back to even par with that birdie. And that ensures that he's back to even par now. Two shots moving off the, the lead. I like it. Drivable par four. I like it. Let's see if we can get up that slope right there. Oh, it's just going to come back down. The power play. you got to love it. Absolutely right. sets himself up for an eagle on this hole. Looking uh, really good. Opportunity to get an eagle on a par four. Always good to cozy it up to the hole in a long par. We'll take the tap in birdie. With that part hole, it's back to back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Get their groove on. And man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, I'm on 13th hole now as Patrick Cantley lines up his next shot. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. All right, very long par four, or par three, I mean. <clears throat> We're going to come up short, especially into the wind. But we're going to try to hit a fast three wood just to try to see if we can get on the green. Got a nice slope. If we can go to the right, just missing that mound. All right, we ran right through the green. I think we might. I think we might hit a splash shot here. Where it should check up. There we go. He has this putt to save his putt. Alright, got the par putt. John, do you have any info down there? Down here on the 14th hole, guys. This is Justin Thomas' next shot. Sitting at one under. Currently tied for third. Our current leader is enjoying a one shot lead. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Alright, we got water to the left, so definitely gonna try not to hook that too much, which we did a pretty good job there. Luke. That did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. So not too bad there. Should be on the right level of the green. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. 
right. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Not sure how that putt came up, Shy. Can't believe he did that. That drives you bonkers as a player. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. He's in a share of third place. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. All right, I like this one. I'm going to play out to the right of the green, have the wind push it down and back over and hopefully hit that slope right about here and have it run out towards the hole. And choosing the eight iron here. Wind pushing it a little bit more than I wanted. And so we're gonna catch that next slope down. The excitement, it's starting, you can hear it. Let's recap this big putt. And now we go to the 16th, where this happened just a moment ago. And how about this shot from Patrick Cantler? Well, that's a very well-judged putt there. Setting up miles from the hole. All right. So, yes, big break right to left. Three feet up. Going to have to give this one a ride. Looks like they just forgot to hit it, Rich. That will drive you bats. All right. Good two putt from there. And he finds himself in a tie for third. This hole's a tough two shotter, a long par four. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. All right. I think we're going to stay out of those find the sand traps. I think that second one definitely came into play with the wind pushing into our face. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Down here on the 17th, guys, and Justin Thomas just getting ready to hit. Let's return to live play now. Time for the second shot at the 16th. Going with the hybrid. All right. Not too bad. I was expecting the wind to push it down a little more than it did, but we're on the green. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Mm. We're tied for third. Just hanging out there, missing it on the high side. Just three feet to the cup. Solid power putt, man. No movement on the leaderboard after that hole. We have a par four on this one. Beautiful swing there. All right, hopefully that stays in the fairway. All right, good shot City there. The we got position. a pretty level lie. And the green is sloping away. So we're going to add some loft, add some backspin. Throw that one up in the air. Oh, and that's just coming up well short. See if we can get some roll. No, too much backspin. Slim chance for birdie. But in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. All right, playing that slope. Steady on. This putt is of nine feet. That starts off on a good line. Mm, missing oh, that, so, so we're going to drop a shot, go back to even par. Going into the, I believe, the 18th hole. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. All right. All right, par five. Let's see how you handle the 18th. Opportunity to hit a big drive here. Taking the gutsy route over the water. <clears throat> Splash. And 
not making it. So we are... Not a bad line, this one. Not even hitting a good shot on that one. We're going into the sand, so we went from being wet to dry. Time to step into the bunker now. And it seems like we are going to finish this round over par. That's yeah, crazy. Well, the man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, guys, I think they're going to have to do a fair amount of work to get out of this uh, first cut. It did end up kind of burrowing itself down in there pretty deep. Outstanding approach shot. Look, nothing gets past All you. All right, yes, big bogey putt here. And we're missing it. So we're going to get a double bogey on this par well, five this to go to phenomenal. two over. So not the uh, this round comes first to round outcome that we wanted. So the opening round in the books, Rich. But it'll give us an opportunity to give you a show, see if we can make a comeback. And we are tied for 21st. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helby. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, so we will see you on round two.